Aside from Hangout 2013, you just heard some Coldplay in Paradise. Kind of in Paradise down here at Gulf Shores for Hangout 2013. 92 Zoo, the official station for all things Hangout year after year. And one really cool thing about being here year after year is that you start to make friends with the folks who I don't want to say are veterans of the festival, but those who we love to know are coming back. And Space Capone has joined us on the 92 Zoo mobile broadcasting bus. Please watch at 92zoo.net as I've uh, acquired some new sunglasses and maybe Daniel Stoddard will one day get his sunglasses back. It just depends on how this interview goes. Am I right? Maybe. <laughs> Y'all were all Chatty Cathy before the mics came on. And then he just kind of shut down. That's right. You have to understand people who are listening over the lines that I'm only one person. We've also got six other guys, five other guys sitting next to me that can't talk right now. This is, it's also like an amazing sunglasses commercial if you're watching over at 92zoo.net. This is your 2013 yeah. eyewear you do showcase. You're in the club. Do I? You're in the club. I'm in the club. Yes, because I stole them again. Now let's get down to business, my friends. Playing tomorrow on the BMI stage at 4:15. Am I correct? 4:15 tomorrow, BMI stage. Space Capone. We're going to bring the heat. Not holding anything back tomorrow. <laughs> It's going to be good times, and wh have you, I know y'all just pretty much got on site. Have you seen any big differences between last year and this year? The numbers are different, yeah. It's definitely a bigger crowd. Um, site's bigger, more square footage. Um, they're going to just, uh, they're going to treat us as well as they, they treated us last year. It's a very hospitable crowd, and we enjoy coming here, for sure. Um, I think it's only a matter of time before this eclipses Bonnaroo, maybe, at some point, just because it's comfortable. It is, it is very comfortable. It, I did Bonnaroo one year, and that's only because Radiohead was playing. I'm not even going to lie. And it was there, and it was the first year that it didn't rain. So ev it was like 2006, and everyone had told me, and, and we've been a part of Bonnaroo since day one. Tim and Leanne go up there every year. But everybody's like, oh, you're going to need rain slicker and galoshes and this and this and that. Never rained. Never rained. Hot, dusty in a farm right. in Tennessee. Hot dusty field. Hot dusty field. I know, right? I was I was not prepared at all. The year of the bandana. Out of all the festivals that you guys have taken part of, what makes Hangout stand out? The beach. The beach, yeah. The uh, what what people are wearing, I guess. The the lack of clothes. Um, the lack of clothes. It's always a treat. Have you ever seen, have you noticed that when you say it's always a treat, I think that's your nice way of saying, man, some <laughs> people just don't need to wear two pieces. Right. <laughs> I mean, you're hanging out on the beach. I mean, there's a festival. You're hanging out on the beach and there's a festival. It's perfect. <laughs> it is pretty perfect. Fourth year of Hangout 2013. It's going to be epic. Now, speaking of epic, I, I've, got, I've got to have y'all share the story real quick. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're listening to 92 Zoo and you don't know who Ron Jeremy is. This is not the time for us to tell you. However, Space Capone has a, a pretty awesome story. And if you're watching at 92zoo.net, they're all shaking their heads like, we're not, I don't want to. So we're at this like gin, uh, this uh, bartender's ball, and Ron Jeremy's in the crowd. <laughs> and basically, we play our entire set. And at the end of it, he comes up to them and says, like, hey, let's can you play an encore with me and I'll play harmonica? And we were like, what are you talking about? No way, we don't want to do this at all. Hidden talents. No, yeah, so we were, we, eh. anyway, he convinced us to do it and we ended up playing When the Saints Go Marching In with Ron Jeremy on harmonica in New Orleans at a gin convention, bartender's ball. And it was possibly the most weirdest thing ever. <laughs> and Drew over here has actually played with the National Symphony also, so we think he might be the only personal, mo only person in the world that has ever played with the National Symphony and Ron Jeremy on stage. <laughs> it's, um, so props to Drew Wilson, Clintonius Rex, <laughs> Clinton Clinton Wilson, Clintonius Rex. How do you list that on a resume? Like, is is the National Symphony first, or is Ron Jeremy first? Ron Jeremy would have. Well, it depends. It really depends on who you're 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 trying to work for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd say most of the time it's probably Nashville Symphony, but <laughs> every once in a while it's gonna gonna be Ron Jeremy. <laughs> epic, epic. 
Now, um, all you folks up in Nashville, you come from different corners of the earth, but ain't nothing like the South, that's for sure. What can we look forward to from y'all coming up in the near future? We, uh, we have the most festivals we've ever booked uh, this summer into the, the fall season. So we've got a, a good five or six, seven festivals that we're doing. We're also working on a new record. We were with a label. We're out of a label now. And so we feel like uh, the strings are released. We're, you know, we feel pretty free. And we've got a lot of songs that we're about to record this fall as well. So we're going to have an independently owned record that's going to be released uh, January or a little after next year. Um, and then just staying on the festival circuit because for, for bands like us, just being on a festival bill is marketing in itself because festivals are, are kind of like the new tastemakers. Mm -hmm. Like kids come to festivals expecting to see something they've never seen before and leave it and w you know, they want to tell their friends about it. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a big priority for us to get on some festival gigs. Well. You can catch them at Hangout 2013. If you don't have a ticket, single day passes still available. Thanks, y'all, so much for stopping by. Thanks for having us. And uh, we'll sunglass trade here in a moment. I, I swear. <laughs> You're listening to Hangout Radio on 92 Zoo, the sound of Mobile, the sound of all things Hangout. And coming up tomorrow, they'll be stopping by the bus. Imagine Dragons. They hit the Chevrolet stage at 4.15. We're going to grab their tune now. This is Demons on 92 Zoo. When the day...